In this video, I am going to be creating a save system for this project, here is an overview, we start the game and we have no saves. We can press new game and once you complete a night, it will save the game. The main menu will update with a new button called continue and it will show what night number you are on. Now to start, you will need a game instance, I made one before for the night system. Next, you will need a save game class. You can right click and search in extra blueprints for save game asset type. This asset will contain variables that needs to be saved. Code in the game instance class will be used to find that save slot name and it will save the data from this asset to the save slot. Now, I will only need one variable here, an integer called current night. That's all you need to do and compile. Now find your game instance class. Here we can make the code to save and load the data. Find an area and create a custom event. I call it save game to slot. I will create another event for loading the game from slot. I do another one for deleting the game save too. For your save game event, create a save game object. From the blue node, promote that to a variable and I called it save game reference. Get your reference and simply set custom night. Next get your current night variable from your game instance. All we do is pass variable data from our classes to this save object. Now importantly get your reference and call save game to slot. Promote your save slot name to a variable so we can always change it and use it later on. It's just a simple string, a name of your save slot, I called it testing. This function creates and finds the slot in your project folder. You can have multiple save slots and you could create a system to switch between many saves. Now to do the load game, get a does save game exist. Put your save slot name here and add a branch this checks if we have a save slot called testing. Next get your variable again and search for load game from slot, connect to true, I cast from here to get our save game object. We can use get our the current night variable from our save game now and we can insert it to our game variables such as the current night here. That's the save and load done. Now I also added a delete save game whenever we start a new game. Get your save game name and check if the save game exists and also get a branch. Now if it does exist, you can get your save slot and search for the delete save slot. Just in case it doesn't reset, you could always set your current night to 1 at the end of the event. I can also create a separate function called reset values. Now create or find your game instance interface function, we need to use these functions across the project. Call it save game, load game, and delete game slot. Make sure these are not the same names as the functions in your game instance or it will cause errors. Compile and go back to your instance. You should have these events on the side, you can right click and implement event. Simply call the events that we created earlier, for save game, get save game to slot, make sure it looks like this, now do the same for these functions. Now I just need to load game at the start and save game whenever a night is completed, first save game, open up your game mode for the actual game, find the function for your clock, find the branch where you check if a night is completed, make space between when you update to the next night and before the delay to open level. Get your game instance and search for save game. Link it and compile. Now loading, go your main menu game mode or your main menu player if you have one. At the event begin play, make space. Next get your game instance and search for load game. Link these up too. Compile, that is mostly done, now I made a main menu in the last tutorial, I will update that to have a new game or load game. I got this horizontal box called new game box, I duplicate that and paste it in the vertical box. Take your time if you couldn't paste it correctly. Also rename it to the continue button. Now in the event, on the construct, I just duplicate these two. I rename the text to continue button. Also delete this new game and replace it with the continue button. Now I am going to make the button hide or appear if we have a saved game. First get the game instance, now I don't have access to the variable or an interface function so I am just going to cast to the game instance. Now from there get your save slot name. Now you can get your does save game exist and check it through a branch. 
One thing I forgot was to go back, click on your continue game horizontal box and set it to a variable. Compile and you have your box variable. Get it and set visibility. On false, select the collapsed option. Next, get your continue game button and get the button. We can assign it on clicked. It creates an event for us to write code. Once you called it on clicked continue game, break that the red wire line so we can organize it. Put your custom event in another area with space. Now on event, you can drag from that and call create event. Here is a list and select the on clicked continue button. Now I want to update the text to say continue with the night number. Get game instance again. This time I have the get current night interface function. Get the button and call the update button detail function. Like last tutorial, get a format text. Write continue and in curly brackets write night number. Next from the current night, get to text and connect it to the format. You can change options like the group and leave it alone. Now for the events themselves. The continue game is simply the open level, we already done the save load functions in the game mode or player. This time we change the on click new game. Before opening the level, get your game instance. Call the delete save game interface. Now link the code and we are done. Test the game and see if it works. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.